Giant fissures open up in Libya with no explanation. In a rural stretch south of Tripoli, vast fissures have torn through the ground, leaving scientists and residents alike baffled. These massive cracks, some spanning hundreds of meters, have appeared without warning, prompting the Libyan government to launch an urgent investigation. While the exact cause remains unclear, the fissures raise questions about the region's geological stability and the consequences of environmental neglect. Today, we're taking a closer look into what might be causing these mysterious cracks, their potential link to Libya's fragile infrastructure, and the broader implications for communities already grappling with instability. Background on the fissures The fissures south of Tripoli first came to light when residents noticed deep cracks forming across farmlands and roads. These unexpected ground ruptures have grown alarmingly fast, some stretching hundreds of meters in length and several meters wide. Local farmers reported the phenomenon to authorities after witnessing parts of their land rendered unusable. Initial reports described the fissures as eerily quiet but destructive, severing irrigation systems and threatening homes in nearby villages. The Libyan government responded by launching an inquiry into the causes of the fissures. Early assessments ruled out immediate seismic activity, leaving officials and experts puzzled. Speculation among residents ranges from subsurface water erosion to the after-effects of years of neglect in maintaining the region's infrastructure. Yet, none of these theories has been substantiated, creating an air of uncertainty. The mystery surrounding the cracks has fueled anxiety, with residents fearing the potential for more significant ground collapses in the future. This unease has underscored the urgent need for a thorough investigation to address not only the fissures themselves, but also their broader implications for the surrounding areas. Geological Factors Under Investigation Geologists examining the fissures have focused on the region's unique geological characteristics to determine potential causes. Libya's location on the African tectonic plate, coupled with its arid climate, presents conditions that could lead to ground instability. However, the absence of recent earthquakes or noticeable seismic activity has ruled out tectonic shifts as an immediate explanation. Instead, experts are investigating whether the fissures could result from ground subsidence, a phenomenon where the Earth's surface sinks due to the collapse of underground voids. Subsurface erosion, often caused by water movement, has emerged as another leading theory. Libya's dependence on underground aquifers for irrigation and drinking water might have exacerbated this issue. Excessive groundwater extraction can create cavities in the earth, weakening the soil's integrity. This process is particularly problematic in areas with limestone bedrock, which is prone to erosion when exposed to water. Early analyses suggest that decades of unregulated water use combined with limited rainfall may have left the ground vulnerable to sudden shifts. While these geological factors provide plausible explanations, no definitive conclusion has been reached. Experts stress the need for detailed soil and subsurface studies to confirm whether these mechanisms are responsible. Without such investigations, the full extent of the risks posed by these fissures remains unknown, leaving the local population and authorities on edge. Connection to Infrastructure and Neglect Libya's history of infrastructural neglect has compounded concerns about the mysterious fissures. Decades of political instability, corruption, and insufficient oversight have left critical infrastructure in a state of disrepair. This neglect is most evident in the country's water management systems, which play a crucial role in maintaining ground stability. The collapse of the Derna dams during catastrophic flooding serves as a stark reminder of the long-term consequences of overlooking essential maintenance. Experts have suggested that the structural failure of these dams may have triggered ground shifts, disrupting subsurface layers, and creating conditions for fissures to form. Water overuse and poor irrigation practices are additional factors that cannot be ignored. Libya relies heavily on underground aquifers to meet its agricultural and domestic water needs. Overextraction, particularly in regions south of Tripoli, has likely created empty voids beneath the surface. These cavities weaken the soil, making it more susceptible to collapse. Years of unregulated drilling and the absence of sustainable water policies have exacerbated this issue, leaving the land vulnerable to sudden shifts. Unregulated construction practices further complicate the situation. Many rural areas have experienced unchecked urban expansion, with buildings erected on land that lacks thorough geological assessments. 
This haphazard development not only destabilizes the ground, but also increases the risks of damage when natural phenomena like these fissures occur. Together, these factors highlight the critical role of infrastructural neglect in contributing to the cracks, emphasizing the urgent need for comprehensive reform and long-term planning. Climate change and environmental pressures. Libya's vulnerability to climate change adds another layer of complexity to the mystery of the fissures. The country has long been prone to extreme weather events, ranging from prolonged droughts to intense flooding. These climatic shifts have placed immense strain on the land, accelerating processes that destabilize the ground. In recent years, erratic rainfall patterns have disrupted the natural recharge cycles of underground aquifers, leaving the soil dry and brittle in some areas while oversaturating it in others. The flooding that caused the catastrophic collapse of the Derna dams underscores how climate-related events can trigger widespread damage. When floodwaters overwhelm poorly maintained infrastructure, they can erode soil and destabilize subsurface layers. The fissures south of Tripoli may be another manifestation of this pattern, as environmental mismanagement combines with changing weather patterns to create fragile ground conditions. Desertification, driven by rising temperatures and diminishing vegetation, has also played a role in weakening Libya's landscape. As arable land turns to desert, the topsoil becomes loose and prone to erosion. This phenomenon has already displaced farming communities and disrupted ecosystems across the region. If left unchecked, these pressures will continue to exacerbate the challenges posed by natural disasters, creating a dangerous feedback loop that could lead to more widespread fissures in the future. Addressing these environmental pressures requires not only immediate investigation into the current cracks, but also a long-term commitment to sustainable land and water management. Socioeconomic Impact on Local Communities The sudden appearance of these fissures has profoundly disrupted life for communities near Tripoli. Farmlands, a critical source of livelihood for many families, have been split apart, rendering large portions of land unusable. Irrigation systems have been severed, cutting off water supplies needed to sustain crops. For families already struggling with economic hardships, the loss of arable land has only deepened their financial instability. In addition to the economic toll, the fissures have created a sense of fear and uncertainty among residents. Many worry about the safety of their homes and whether the cracks will continue to expand. Some families have already relocated, leaving behind their property and communities in search of safer ground. The emotional strain of displacement and the lack of clear answers from authorities have fueled frustration and distrust. Local governments have attempted to respond, but their efforts have been hampered by limited resources and Libya's broader political instability. While emergency relief measures have been introduced, they are often insufficient to address the scale of the damage. Residents are calling for stronger government action, including comprehensive investigations and transparent communication about the risks posed by the fissures. Without significant intervention, the socioeconomic fallout from this phenomenon will likely continue to escalate, leaving already vulnerable communities in an even more precarious position. The Role of International Experts and Aid as the fissures near Tripoli grow, the need for international expertise has become increasingly apparent. Libya's domestic resources and technical knowledge are limited, particularly in the wake of years of political instability and infrastructure decay. Recognizing this, the Libyan government has begun reaching out to global geological and environmental experts to aid in understanding the phenomenon and devising solutions. International organizations specializing in disaster response and geological studies have offered preliminary support, though their involvement remains minimal due to logistical challenges and security concerns. Experts from regions that have experienced similar ground collapses, such as East Africa and parts of the Middle East, could provide valuable insight into the fissures' causes. Their knowledge of subsurface erosion, groundwater depletion, and the impacts of climate change may help to clarify the situation in Libya. Beyond the technical aspects, international aid could address the immediate needs of affected communities. Humanitarian organizations have been called upon to assist displaced families with temporary housing, food supplies, and financial support. However, these efforts remain sporadic and a coordinated global response has yet to emerge. The fissures highlight the importance of collaboration between Libya and the international community to not only address this crisis, but also to build resilience against future environmental challenges. 
Such partnerships could offer a pathway to understanding and mitigating the complex factors contributing to the fissures while supporting the country's recovery. The complexity of the fissures has prompted calls for international expertise to assist Libya in understanding and addressing the phenomenon. While local scientists and engineers are working diligently, the scale of the issue requires advanced technology and methodologies often found in global geological and environmental organizations. Collaborations with international experts could bring new insights into the underlying causes, particularly by employing techniques such as satellite imaging, ground-penetrating radar, and advanced soil analysis. Several international organizations have expressed interest in supporting Libya's efforts, though political and logistical challenges have delayed their involvement. Similar fissure events in other countries, such as those caused by subsidence in regions with over-extracted aquifers, could provide valuable case studies. Experts from countries with experience in mitigating geological disasters could share strategies for risk assessment and preventative measures. In addition to scientific collaboration, international aid could help address the immediate needs of displaced residents and repair damaged infrastructure. Coordinated efforts would not only enhance Libya's ability to respond to the current crisis, but also strengthen its preparedness for future environmental challenges. However, sustained international support will depend on Libya's ability to create stable channels for collaboration and ensure transparency in the use of external resources. Without such partnerships, the country risks facing this crisis in isolation, prolonging the uncertainty and suffering for affected communities. Theories and Unanswered Questions As investigations continue, several theories about the cause of the fissures have emerged, yet none offer a definitive explanation. Geological factors such as subsidence and erosion remain the most likely culprits, with experts pointing to Libya's extensive groundwater extraction as a key contributor. This theory aligns with observations in other regions where overuse of underground water resources has destabilized land, leading to collapses. However, the scale and rapid progression of the fissures raise questions about whether other factors, such as shifts in soil composition or deeper geological changes, are at play. Some experts have speculated that the cracks could be linked to recent extreme weather events, including heavy rains and flooding. The collapse of the Derna dams earlier in the year may have caused significant underground disturbances, displacing soil and altering water flow patterns. Yet, there is limited data to confirm a direct connection between the flooding and the appearance of these fissures. Other theories suggest that unregulated construction and a lack of geological surveys in the region have compounded pre-existing vulnerabilities. Despite the range of possibilities, critical questions remain unanswered. Why did the fissures appear so suddenly and in this specific region? Could other areas in Libya face similar risks and what can be done to mitigate future occurrences? These uncertainties have left residents, scientists, and authorities in a state of frustration, emphasizing the need for comprehensive research and clear communication. Until these questions are resolved, the fissures will continue to serve as both a literal and symbolic representation of Libya's broader challenges in addressing environmental and infrastructural issues. Now it's time to hear from you. How dangerous do you think these fissures are? Let us know in the comments section below.